Good morning, everybody. This is my last day to turkey hunt. The uh, blessing of our first child and uh, just being busy and, and some work involved in there, too. Just not had a lot of time to turkey hunt. And uh, hunted hard for Aaron a couple times, or quite a few times, to get Aaron his first bird. He got his first bird by himself. Not on camera, but it don't matter. So he got his first bird. And uh, I've yet to get one. So I hunted a couple days ago in the same long beard in this area that avoided us all bow season, gave us the slip. I'm going to try to get in here and get him. Uh, I had him a couple days ago. He gave me the slip quite a few times. But I got a game plan. If he does the same thing today, we're going to kill him. So, anyway, guys, it's barely 5 o'clock. I'm going to get some coffee. We're going to go get set down. Stick with us.
Guys, that might have been the most physical demanding turkey I've ever got. I know y'all couldn't see me, but just over that terrace there, I think he had a hen with him. And uh, I crawled all the way out here to these little set of trees. Still sitting in there, still too far away. And uh, turned out, I just decided to crawl under this fence, crawl out to that nearest terrace and pop him. He's a little further than I wanted him to be. And my red dot glass was fogged up to, and wet to no, to no end. And it's on an auto brightness, but luckily I, I popped up he was strutting, he's turned, saw me. I couldn't see, my glasses were fogged up, the, the, the red dots fogged up. I couldn't see the red dot at all. And I hit the button one time, it takes it to bright. And I got somewhat of a visual and had to kind of do this number, double take over it a couple of times and he stood there for one or two seconds enough for me to shoot him. So every time I come out here and hunt, I've learned to, it's almost juvenile, it, God help me get this turkey today. It's praying for the wrong thing. God, through you, give me, give me your strength, give me your wisdom, that I may be a better hunter. That's what we should be praying for. And every time I come out here, I learn something different, every time. Let's go take a look at him. Guys, I'm here to tell you, it don't get no better than that. Shot him. That pattern got pretty wide. This uh, this 28 gauge I've got just really freaking peppers them. That red dot is filthy. <laughs> what a absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning. And what a beautiful turkey. What a beautiful bird. I love trapping, I love deer hunting, and I love just being in the outdoors, but can't beat chasing these long beards. Try to get Aaron his first bird, try to get this one to be his first bird. Archery, three different opportunities, and with, you know, when you're shooting an arrow, it's, it's you gotta you can't shoot through as much stuff as you can with a shotgun and just didn't present the right opportunity and um but it turned out good because Aaron got his first bird by himself this year which was awesome roll some b-roll of that and uh went out one morning to a different property of ours and called some birds into him about 20 yards across the creek and shot him across the creek so that was pretty awesome but man i just That never gets old. That is awesome. Heavy bird too. Heavy mature bird. Just a perfect morning in Nebraska. Just perfect. Now I'm gonna drink some coffee. What an awesome, awesome bird. Kinda wish Tyler and Aaron were here. Well, guys, apologize for not a ton of turkey footage this year. We had uh, new babies hit the ground and taking care of our children and our wives, and that's more important. 
but when we get some opportunities, we'll come out here, spend some time in God's creation, chase some of these long beards. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, guys. Stick with us as we go through the summer, the growing season. We all need it. The deer, the turkeys, everybody, everything needs it. And uh, hopefully we'll see each other real soon. Kyle here, Plains and Outdoors, guys. Catch you later.